Hello? Hi everyone. Welcome to some vengeance. Roll and fight. Hopefully, I'm all coming through okay. I will wait for my confirmation. But yeah, we're going to be chucking some dice against the clock in the solo mode. It's still kind of a real-time race in the multiplayer sense as well, but you are racing against the other players. There's a set pool of dice based on your player count, and you can keep taking dice as you assign them to things, but... Yeah, once the, once the dice run out, that's it. In the solo game, of course, you could really plot out your turns if you were allowed to do that, so you are set against a quite, quite a harsh time limit. So yeah, coming, coming through okay? Brilliant. Hi everyone, welcome to Vengeance Roll and Fight. I won't repeat all of that, but yes, we are going on a roaring rampage of revenge. And we are going to try and take out a boss, Immaculata. We are playing Shadow Man, and with our limited items and abilities, we are diving into this boss's den to try and take out their minions or sneak past them and uh, defeat the boss without dying ourselves, trying to score a load of points. So the solo mode has difficulties that you can play as well. You can mix and match the difficulties, so the difficulty defines the number of dice you have available, the amount of time each round you have available, and the number of points you need to win. So you can mix and match those. I am going for, well, I feel like this is going to be pretty fast. So I think we're going to play it twice. So the first time I'm going to go easy so that you can see what's going on. And hopefully I've got a bit more time to do more things. So for that, you've got 20 dice, 45 seconds around, and the points you need are 18 to win. And when we step it up to medium, you get 16 dice, 30 seconds, and you need 23 points, I think, to win. Should have looked when you looked at the points briefly before. So yeah, this is kind of, it's split into two boxes as well. So this is from episode one, which is also like what I had a prototype of for the original Kickstarter. There is also episode two. You can get either of these. You can get both of these. It's the same game but inside each box is a different selection of dens, of bosses, of characters and abilities. So yeah, you can you can throw it all in there. You can play it all together and play a great big eight player game of it because yeah, the, the dice pool is the thing that is communal and that you are kind of fighting over, trying to uh, rush through your abilities to try and get the most dice and activate them the most. Uh, but your actual boards and bosses and abilities and stuff are all separate amongst the players. So yeah, it, it's one of those games like say, well, I always refer to Project Elite because it's, I think, where I saw it first, that you can roll your dice as many times as you like to try and get the symbols that you need to activate your abilities. So if I want to move from room to room, I need to dash which costs two of these running symbols. So I've got to keep rolling and rolling until I find those two symbols, if I absolutely desperately need to move to another room. But you'll notice that as I'm rolling these, obviously you'd want to be quicker, especially in solo, you've got 45, 30 seconds or even less. Uh, but what I'm not doing is re-rolling these blood icons because they are just stuck there. At a point in the dice rolling phase, you can choose to put a die on your health bar. That's a damage you're taking now. And then you can reroll all of your other symbols. Whenever you haven't got four dice as well, you can grab a new one from the pool and start rolling that. So you can't have more than four going on at once. Uh, but yeah, you can keep rolling everything that you need uh, to try everything that you have to try and get what you need. But yeah, those blood tokens are going to get in the way. You might choose, to, you might elect to stop rolling before uh, your time is up because you've only got three health at the start and you don't want to, you don't want to die uh, because you, you can keep playing, but your dice pool gets more limited. Uh, so yes, that is the main dice rolling core of the game. We start in this room because this is where it told us to start. The boss is in this room. That is the symbol for the boss. If you wonder what these crude drawings are here, we are aiming to... Hello? I don't know if my buttons have shorted out the system or something. Uh, my buttons made the screen go dark. Uh, I'll, I'll do it with the mouse, though. 
hopefully I'm back. Uh, yes, the, the boss we are aiming to infiltrate the lair of is Immaculata, uh, whose set of abilities... Some bosses have abilities throughout the game that affect the strength of their minions, or you have to do something. Uh, Immaculata gets two additional grunts in the room that she's in. Grunts, as you can see on this little player aid here, must be eliminated before you can attack the boss. So when you get into this room, you've got a lot to take out before you can start hitting the the boss right we've also got different items and abilities based on the character that we are playing we haven't got use of them yet but we'll get those in the flashback phases so we've got four rounds first thing that we do is roll these flashback dice and they are going to determine some choices that we can make some things that we get to do So for the lightning bolts, that is gain some experience. So two lightning bolts, you get to circle two XP. Your abilities cost a various amount of XP. I think the cheapest one I've got is three. So I couldn't get it with just that die. Uh, but there, there's an option here on a die. I could choose to get some more training or I could choose to do the, the knuckle dusters here. I could gain the use of an item. So you see that all of these boxes are just dashed to begin the game with. I have the potential of having these items. Dare I press a button again? Hey, it worked. Uh, okay, I'll just not press the other button that I tried to press. Uh, so yes, the, the boxes are all dashed. When you gain the use of an item through the knuckle duster die, uh, you draw the border of the item box and then you can spend it later by crossing out that box so each item's got up to three uses throughout your four rounds but you've got to earn them so i've definitely got one of these abilities the game does as always these games come with pens like official the vengeance roll and fight pens i don't like these little pens it might be the way i hold pens they they go through this gap and it goes all weird so i'm using a big pen it's not that it doesn't come with nice pens just I like these pens. Uh, so yes, I can gain one of these items. So I can gain these. When I first visit a room, I kill a grunt and evade a person. That's quite nice. Well, it's not nice, but effective. And the cantrips kill up to three evaded enemies in my room or an adjacent room. And when I try to shoot... enemies I evade them instead so that might be a good thing to do because I can evade a load of enemies but I can't really shoot them so I might want to use I might not want to do that ability evading enemies is good if you're stuck in the room with them then they don't do any damage to you uh, beta blockers this fighting phase resolve abilities effect in any order oh yeah so usually like say for my basic things here the charge ability you need this particular arrangement of dice to activate it. But when you activate it, you move and then hit. Do a damage to someone in the room that you are now in. In that order. But if I used the item, then I could do that in any order. So why don't we try... Yeah, sh shurikens? Shurikens? I'm going to gain that as an item. I get two XP as well, don't I? I haven't got a choice in these two dice. I've got a choice in this die, and you can see underneath, it's got a plus and then all of the potential symbols. You always get the choice of any of the abilities as well as the three that were defined by the dice. I think let's get two more XP because then we could get some abilities. So let's have a look at what I could get. Duck and strike, I can only do this once per round, but and I need specific face there to, to do it with. I need the double knife symbol, but I could have a gun or a running man. Hit and move, so the other way around. Exploit cover, guns can be treated as guns or the running symbol. That could be quite nice. Evade effects are permanent, that is pretty special because, yeah, they usually, they usually go off from round to round. Jumping lets you move through a room, so you kind of skip a room to go to a room that's past it. Wall run kicks, hit and hit and move. I quite like that as well. Before you move, you can evade a blocker, and blockers usually keep you in the room that you're in. You can't move out until you've uh, 
killed them or evaded them, which is only temporary. I think let's let's do a passive thing to start us off with. This 4 XP is getting spent on evade effects are permanent. They can only have four of those abilities. And I don't think it's quite clear in the rulebook. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to overwrite one of these. It's four abilities and your basic ones. So I cross out my XP now because there is also points to be had for earning tons of XP. As my choice of anything, so, so the other things that I could have chosen to have, if it was a star, I could have chosen loot, cross out a circle on my loot track with potentially a load of points at the end of the game. I can either, oh, with, with these binoculars, with recon, you can circle your abilities. They tell you how many recon symbols you need to be able to recon that ability. It basically means you get a free use of that ability no matter what dice you roll. And then you've got the heart symbol. You can heal two of your health or gain a max health. I think I'm going to take that as a heart and I'm going to gain a max health because I'm worried. I don't want to die. So I think that's it for the flashback phase. So it's time to get my clock on the go. Oh, I had it over here so it doesn't deafen the, the microphone. It was really loud. I don't need the pen, do I? So I am looking for dice that are going to cover these abilities. You can activate the abilities as many times as you've got dice for. So it's up to you, really. Oh yeah, I, did, I, to, I forgot that I went away for a bit, didn't I? I'm, I need to let me know I came back. I might have just been talking just to that uh, blank screen for ages. Oh, hi, Matt, by the way. And single me and Steve. And Rachel. You've never used the clock in solo mode. It's challenging enough without it. Yeah, it's like... It's no time at all. Even easy, 45 seconds. It's no time at all to be doing stuff. I've got all of these dice available. If I can roll and decide rapidly and get stuff going. Okay, let's try it. 45 seconds. Maybe we won't be stepping it up to medium difficulty. 45 seconds. Let's go. Okay, so I want to move. I want to shoot. There's move, move. Oh, there's two blood symbols. That's not good. They can't be re-rolled for the time being. Okay, we can... We can put a knife... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the knife there. Um, oh, another knife there. So the, the punch ability, I can do a hit in the room that I'm in. Uh, but if I use one of the double knife symbols that I've now got, uh, it can do two hits of the room that I'm in. Okay, I'll take a damage and uh, re-roll these blood and get a new dice. Oh, I can get two new dice, actually. So I'm rolling four all the time. Uh, move again, but maybe I want to shoot so I can try and evade. That's a double knife there. Oh, I've been running out of time completely. Knives. Oh, I have. You can use like this. Stop! Stop the timer. It's not, that wasn't like deafening on the microphone, was it? Was it? Was it quite quiet? Because I've put it a bit away. You can still use these dice and re-roll them to whatever you, to as much as your heart's desire, but you can't grab any more dice from the pool. So you see, actually, three, five, seven, eight. I only got just over half of the dice from the pool in that amount of time. So would I like another move? What is my plan? You should be looking at the... It was audible, but fine. Brilliant. Thank you. So going out, I've either got to go to a blocker and a grunt. It's just you've got to watch out for enemies in your room that you haven't evaded or killed will do damage to you. Gunmen, the blue enemies, will do damage in rooms adjacent to them as well. It's just that going this way is going to end up being the long way around. Maybe I want two move. So I've got I've got one move. I've got two double hits, actually. So I probably do want to move again. Yeah. I haven't got a shoot, though, have I? I only got one gun symbol. So I would be in this room. Oh, I could be in this room. I'm just kind of working my way the wrong way around. Yeah, let's do this. So, hi, David. Co-designer, David Torsi is in the chat, everyone. Yeah, that, that's the thing as well. Maybe I shouldn't step it up to medium because I'm going to find it hard to shut up while I'm trying to roll. Uh, so I need to take a damage because I've got that... Um, I, I took a damage to be able to re-roll my health dice. So yeah, I think that's a good plan now. So you can, once you've kind of locked your stuff in, there's no point having this dice here because it's not doing anything. Uh, 
we can work out what we're going to do. So I think let's go this way. This is a much quicker route, of course, to the boss. But that doesn't have to be your your goal. Like it's it's about scoring the points, of course, like thematically, the we ideally would really like to take out the the boss. But yeah, in, in real terms, you can get points from other things. Like, there's these stars that count as uh, loot. So, we can take these as other things at the end of the round, but they can also contribute to our loot track. Anything you don't assign at the end of the round is wasted. Yeah, that gun would be wasted, wouldn't it? One action at a time. Did I do something wrong? I'm going to carry on, but let, let me know what I did wrong and I'll correct it. Uh, right, so yes, we can. All of the enemies, apart from the tough guys, the green... Oh, I'm not going to be able to take out the tough guy. So my plan was, go in here, hit, hit, go in here. Hit, hit. But that's a tough guy. He's got two health. Might not be the best idea. I think wherever I am, I'm going to take a damage. Because I can go in... I can go in here, take these two out. Move it... Oh, no. Yeah, let's go up. So, one thing that you get is a visiting mark. You've been in that room. I'm going to end up with pen all over my hand. Left-handed, though. So, I've been in that room. That's important because there's objectives on some of the rooms that, like this room here, would like you to have visited nine or more rooms. So, I can come in here with a move. Two move symbols, done. That's my dash activated. My punch does a hit, but if I have at least one double knife symbol, it does an extra hit. So, I can activate that with this trio and take out both of these grunts. Well, a grunt and a blocker, because I wouldn't be able to move out if that blocker was in there. But you'd have to re-roll the rest when you assign. Oh yeah, you take the dice out to do an, a whole action at a time. But you, you can just leave the others. Right. I think we're on the same page. Uh, so I can use my other move to go into this room. And in here is a gunman and a henchman. So yeah, that's okay, isn't it? I can take them out. They've got a health each with my other hit, with my other hits that's got a double knife symbol in it. And I have visited this room. So I've visited and cleared this room. There's an objective over here that I could potentially achieve if I take out all of the blockers in adjacent rooms to here. So in terms of adjacent rooms, I took out the blocker here. I didn't skip past. There's one in here. Oh, and this would be adjacent as well, wouldn't it? Because this is a big L-shaped room. So if I go kind of this way and take out these blockers, I could achieve that objective, and that's four points. Because I probably don't want to be circling back down this way. That's that's one of my rounds done. I don't think I've crossed out a number. So yeah, we've done the rolling phase, the fighting phase, when we went through everything, and then the resolution phase. So any of these abilities, whether you use them or not, they're lost at the end. Yeah, the binoculars, like to get your free activations. If you don't use them, you lose them. You can collect loot in any rooms that you visited and cleared with the stars in. I haven't yet. Hopefully I will, though. So, yes, I can do all of those things. Get a wound for each henchman in your room and each gunman. Oh, you have to be in the room with the achievement when it's meant to score it, yeah. So next round, like, I could loop back, but it's not ideal. Yeah, it would maybe have been one to like skip through and like come back later when you've done it. But we'll we'll see. Maybe I won't do that objective. Right. Receive a wound for each henchman and or gun henchman in your room, gunman in an adjacent room. There are none. Then if the if you've got any abilities or items that refer to the resolution phase, this is the resolution phase. 
uh, I haven't at the moment. All of my thing was uh, evade effects of permanent. I thought I was going to do some shooting, but I just did talking instead, didn't I? Uh, so my health track is not full of wounds, so I don't have to worry about that. I am not beaten because your, your dice pool goes down to three and then the next time like you're dead, you obviously don't want that. Uh, and then clear any marks around evaded dominions. We didn't evade any, we just took them out. I... Oh, there's another visited mark in this room. Can I get another one? Right. So yes, that's that's the round, isn't it? Second round then, flashback phase. Hi to me, how's it going? It is a very prolific week. Next week will be pretty much the same as well. So much stuff arriving, but it's Essen, isn't it? I'm trying to cram everything in before Essen. Hey, go visit Mighty Boards at Essen. Right, what am I doing? So I have got... I'm a bit more locked in this time. I have only got XP. 2 XP isn't going to get me anything because I spent it all last time. And then... I can do the loot flashback action so I can start... I can start going up my loot track and trying to get some points. Or you can treat it as wild and do something else with it instead. So what would I like? I, so I could get some more XP and get another ability. I've got to remember my items about as well. Maybe I want some more items. Kill up to three evaded people in your room or an adjacent room. And then get the XP when entering an empty room. Evade two people in adjacent rooms. That could be quite nice, because you could evade tough guys, right? And not have to worry about the two damage you're going to have to do to them. It's just to activate the ability, you've got to walk into an empty room. So we've got to be moving about a lot. Before moving evader blocker could be quite nice. I mean, they're all quite nice, aren't they? In the way. I want more moves, I want more hits. I think, yeah, let's let's take this loot as some more XP. Because we can get points from this as well. When I enter an empty room, evade two people in adjacent rooms. So that's all my XP spent again. I've just got these passive abilities as well and not, like, gained any for assigning dice to yet. And so the final one, I could get another item. Like the smoke bomb in this room, move is move or hit. Or kill up to three evaded people. That could be quite nice. But I could take it as anything else. I could take some more health. I could take some more XP if I wanted to. I probably don't want to move up the track. Oh, and I've got the wild one as well at the bottom, haven't I? So I could actually get XP with that, get XP with that. It would be the only thing I did, really, but... I could get a great ability, couldn't I? But I want to def like I don't. I don't necessarily want to just evade everyone. I want to defeat them too. Yeah, I'm going to take it all as XP. Which you know you can only have four abilities, so this isn't necessarily ideal, but. Another passive thing, so guns are now guns or move symbols. I think maybe that'll help me out, especially around my yapping. Okay, let's have a dice rolling phase. Of course, the timer's given up. And let's get four dice. 45 seconds, and I'll try and yap less. So what, what is the goal? It depends what the dice say, but I would like to, when entering an empty room, evade two people in adjacent rooms. So, it depends how much movement we roll. I would like to kind of come around here and loop back, do some good killing and or evading and loop back, because if we end up in this room, we could evade these people in this room, but we don't really need to evade those people. 
But if we evade those people, we could use the item. We didn't gain the item to kill them. Probably just want to move forward because you could maybe cut right back and do the objective later on. Or maybe we just don't want to go up this way. This way's got loads of loot though. This is what you want really. There's tougher people in there. You could just cut through here and do the damage that way. This is a room with loot in it. And then take these people out and then we've got two rounds to try and work on the boss. Kind of run in, do as much damage as we can, run back out. Because we can't shoot. Yeah. See how much we get. Let's just try and get some punching and running. Because we can always use the runs to go back to an empty room and then evade people if they're going to be problems. Okay. Let's go. 45 seconds. Okay. You're a move. You can be a move because of my ability. Even holding four dice is hard enough. Okay. That's some more movement. And then let's try and get things that aren't movement now. Okay. Knives, you're perfect. Three more dice. Uh oh. Gun and knife. So, unless you're going to be moves, I'm going to have to... Oh, dear. Yep, we're definitely going to re-roll these. Uh, get another die. Okay. Gun, gun. Gun, you're shooting. Oh, the time's running out. Knife, knife, knife. Okay, that'll do. Oh, no. So, we can... We got through more dice this time. There's a little bit more happening, but there's there's health issues. Yeah, we'll probably have to do some healing. So we can keep this as another move, which might get us back to an empty room. But then do you want to... You're taking two damage if you leave these out here. Whereas we could put one on here and re-roll it to get something else. We probably want to do that, right? But then if you make it a knife, because we just can't take more dice now. You could risk it to try and get some more knives, because I don't think I need this much movement. But no. I'm just going to stick. So this die isn't going to do anything. We've got three moves. A double hit. Oh, this is only a single hit. Okay. I think that's okay. Right. So going this way, I could move, hit, single hit, move, double hit, take you out, take you out, but then there's a tough guy left, but, and then move back in here, and then this objective's cleared. We could shoot someone to evade, but we don't really need to. Or if we use the moves going this away, we could go one. When I go into an empty room, evade two people. Hit, hit. Move again. Hit. But for this objective, you want to have killed all of the grunts. But what about that we could use the item? When you first visit a room, kill a grunt and evade any enemy. Yeah, what if we went this way? So move. When entering an empty room, evade two people in adjacent rooms. So there's no, there's no joining here, so this isn't adjacent. But we could evade you. And remember, that's permanent. He's not a problem now. And we can we can evade people and still like kill them later. So that's one move. We activated that ability because we moved into an empty room. We come in here. We've visited it. We can do our double hit. Yeah. Do our double hit. So 
<gasps> oh, I really wish I had the cantrips now. Why didn't I buy them? I could have moved in here and evaded someone and kill up to three evaded people in your room or an adjacent room. So I've moved twice now, haven't I? I could use the shrukens and then he would be dead. Like, could have just evaded a different person that doesn't matter. You can still kill them after they've been evaded, right? I'm getting a bit stuck. Yeah. We, we can shoot the gunman to evade him. So then he won't activate. Just wondering whether to use the... No, let's not use those things. I think, I think you're... I think let's just use the hit. Use the single hit in the room that I'm in. Take him out. Try and do this objective later. But the objective needs adjacent. He's up there miles away. And then, yeah, I think you're right. Evade the gunman. Which, usually we would wipe out at the end of the round. But it's permanent for Shadow Man. Thanks to the abilities that he's got. Okay. So end of the round stuff. We haven't collected any of them. We haven't got loot though. If we just if we just leave him evaded. We might want to like circle into here. Evade people. Walk into here and use these cantrips to kill one, two, three evaded people. That would be pretty nice. Because then this is visited and cleared and we get the loot. We don't get it until... It's cleared. Right, so we haven't got any loot yet. <laughs> any points yet. Uh, receive a wound for... So he's evaded, he's not going to do damage. He's evaded, he's not going to shoot. We're not in the same room as him, so he's not going to do damage. We haven't got anything that worries about resolution. We... Oh, I should have taken this damage already, shouldn't I? So probably going to want some healing on the go. When we get to do resolutions and stuff. And then you would clear the evaded minions, but we don't. So we are on to round three. I'm actually rabbiting on and being indecisive for longer than I thought. Maybe I should still be able to get to it. I don't know if I'll step up the difficulty. So we've got item, item, recon, and anything. So two items. I definitely want the cantrips. I want to try and evade these people. Evade these, get back in here. And if it can be an empty room I come back into. <gasps> you come in here, kill them, come in here, do some damage, run away, and then it's an empty room, and you can evade two people in adjacent rooms, and then they're all evaded, and you can activate the cantrips and kill them all. Ooh. So that's one item done. In this room, move equals move or hit. When you first visit a room, kill a grunt and evade someone else. That could be killing one of these grunts and evading the tough guy. Yeah, I want that again for the second item. So item, item. Recon, an ability we can just use. You need two recons to be able to charge, which is move and hit. We're not getting enough, get enough XP to do anything. But I could, I could get another recon and then do that. Move and hit. But I think... Oh, for the wild card, we want heal, don't we? You can heal two health or you can gain a max health. Oh, it says it, it, says it right there. So yeah, the, the wild card's going to be heal. And then recon. We're, it's, it's very easy for us to do move, isn't it? We maybe want punch. Just get an extra hit in there, I think. Right. We're happy with that. Happy as I'm going to be. Okay. So plan. I want to... Run in here, kill them. Shoot them. 
Or maybe just walk in there, activate the... No, I, I want the movement for free. I know it's easier for me to do, but I think I want loads of movement. I want to go in there. I want to kill them. I want to go in there, activate this. Kill the grunt, evade him. Come back in here, now it's empty. Or I just want to evade both of them. I want a lot of firing, which is harder for me to do, isn't it? Because this can kill evaded people in your room as well. Oh no, the plan was, wasn't it? We come in here, we kill them. We go in here, we do some damage. We come back in, now it's empty and we can evade these people and then we can activate the cantrips and kill the re-evaded people. I think that was the plan. Maybe even use the shurikens in here to kill one of these and evade the tough guy. Yes, I think that was the plan. Right. A lot of movements. A lot of punching, I think. 45 seconds. Go. Okay, a lot of movement. A lot of punching, which we haven't got. But there's movements. Okay, there's knife knife. Okay, trip knives. Uh, you are two guns. A gun or a knife would do it. Okay, that's firing. And then knives. I want more knives. No, knife please. No. Okay, we're going to have to put you on there so we can replenish knives. And then I'm going to keep you as moving. I want movement. There's movements. Two knives. I want more knives. No, I want more movement, don't I? Ah. Move. I can get these. Oh, I should have kept one as a gun. Okay, we can move again if we want to. So we're taking two damage again. But that's the most dice I've got, isn't it? Doing something. Right. What was the plan again? I know I've said it about ten times. Move in here. We visited it. Double hit takes both of these out. We come in here. When you first visit a room, use this item, kill a grunt and evade someone. We'll evade the tough guy. In here we can do two hits. Now remember we have to kill Grunt before we can touch the boss. The boss has got six health. We can do this double hit. Yeah, that's okay, isn't it? We can do this double hit to take out the two Grunts. And then... I've got movement into an empty room. When you enter an empty room, evade two enemies in adjacent rooms. I'm going to evade these two. And then I can activate my cantrips. Kill up to three evaded enemies in your room or an adjacent room. Or why don't we do you, you, and maybe not him. It doesn't really matter that he's there, does it? Unless I'm going to come back later. And I don't know if I'm going to get to do that. Why don't we kill him? Because he might be a problem. Now the boss is on their own. And this is going to work out okay, I think. Oh, we, we got... Like, there was like an extra move that I don't think we used as well. So we could end up in a different room. But we don't want to be in a different room, do we? We don't want to be in a room with the boss and take damage. No, I think this will be okay. So we, we maybe got... Oh, we got a gun as well that we could evade people with. So I could have gone in there and then evaded. No, we'll just we'll just not use all that stuff. I think I'm going to try and take out the boss with the last move. Right. So we don't get that anymore. We wasted it. But I did roll loads more movement than I thought I would get. We have cleared and visited now a room. 
Yeah, it's just two hits, isn't it? The you double hit. It's like it's like hit and hit, isn't it? Because like your shots can be assigned to different places, even if you get multiple shots. Yeah, it's like an extra hit action. So it's like you could do two damage on a tough guy. You could just do two hits on a another person. Um. So yes, we have now cleared and visited this room, so we can claim this loot. We can just go on the loot track, or we can do other things with it, as always. Like, maybe we want XP, maybe we want to earn some items. Like, maybe we want these wall run kicks. The ability hit, um, hit, hit, move. To get back out of there once we've... hit the boss a few times in this room move is move or hit I think a smoke bomb would be good instead of taking any loot I'm going to take one as an item throw a smoke bomb in here and I'm going to have one as XP because we could maybe yeah we, we can maybe earn some points with XP and you can override abilities if you decide you don't want one anymore like if I stopped making evade permanent he would come back to life but it wouldn't really matter too much one, one thing you've got to think about is you need to be able to like trace a line back out at the very end uh, otherwise you're going to take damage are you gonna lose you're gonna lose points? It's take damage in Vengeance and Fate Forge, isn't it? Playing Fate Forge. Messing my memories up. It's great though. Check out my Fate Forge video. So yeah, we've got the loot symbols and we're in this room. Have all grunts in adjacent rooms been taken out? Yes. So five points for that. Remember all the other things. Got no resolution things. The health track is not full of wounds. Need to heal though. And the evaded minions stay evaded. We can get to round four. And I was looking for an extra die. There isn't an extra die. Okay then, good. I did want to heal anyway. So we will take heal two. I guess like getting the extra health is the same as healing another one. And then the loot. We want the wall run kicks, right? I'm going to get two more XP. Want to spend four XP to get my wall run kicks. Run, run, double knife. Can get me hit, hit, move. It's going to be a mess of dice, isn't it? Let's get four dice in here ready. Only done one objective, though. We'll get some good points. We'll get 11 points for killing the boss. But I've got to do six hits. And this is my last chance. I've got my wild card as well. So this was actually useless unless I'm going to go into a different room later. Do abilities in any order. I don't think they're going to help me out. The wild card, I maybe just want XP for points. Yeah. I just realised, like, I don't think my point get-ins going to be that great. Right, let's see though. Are we ready? 45 seconds on the clock, one last time. Okay, we want knife knife. Not a gun. Knife knife knife. And then we want moves and knives. So that's only three dice for some reason. That's, uh, that won't do, will it? We want another move, but a gun can be a move. Okay, that's that one done. I'm talking. Oh, that's too many dice. Uh, luckily, it turned into blood, so it's okay. Another move, we'll put you on there so we can have four dice. Uh, gun, 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 we don't need. You're not rolling fast enough. You're not rolling fast enough. Knife, knife. Oh, move isn't right, is it? Oh, that's the... Yeah, gun can be moved. Gun can be moved. Oh, 
that was uh, that was double knife, but I think too much yapping again. I don't think we've done it. Okay, let's see then. So, oh, maybe we have because we can throw the smoke bomb in this room. Move is move or hit. Because we don't need to move out if we're killing it. So, two hits. One, two. I've got my wall run kicks. Oh, but they hit, hit, move, don't they? That's okay. Yeah. Hit, hit, move. Oh, no, I'm outside. Move back in. And I could evade people, but I don't think there's anyone I want to evade. Hit, hit, move. We have taken out Immaculata in the nick of time because that's it. There's no more actions. I didn't take very many dice in the last round. So there's no loot to be gained because it was just this room. Oh yeah, when you've uh, killed the boss, you can cross out their symbol on the board. And so final scoring, the amount in your loot track, absolutely nothing. The amount in your training track, the leftmost unmarked, not circled, so that's four points. Then the rightmost crossed out space on the boss track, I did circle these a bit big, that's six points. And then if you killed the boss, an extra five points. Then the den objectives. Yeah, it would be nice to, you know, after you've been loads of places, come back here and get some more points or to have done this when I was around this area. I've only done one of them. It was worth five points, though. So between this, I might have done it. I think I've just about done it. Uh, oh, and then escape. So you need to trace an escape line back. Every enemy that's in your way at this point uh, is minus one. You, d you don't have to go through every single room you went through before. So yeah, I, I can trace a line back and there's no enemies. So lose no points there. I've got 10, 20 points. And in the easy game, your challenge is to get 18 points. So I've only just done it. And I think only just because like I had a move going spare because otherwise it would have just been hit, hit and then run away from the boss. And uh, yeah, that, that would have been like 11 points less, wouldn't it? So I think how long has this been? It's been about 45 minutes, hasn't it? Should we have another one? What should I do, though? Should I do a different person? Definitely want a different boss. I think we, we could just do all different all around. I don't know about stepping the difficulty off, because... I think, especially since I can't seem to shut up while uh, I'm live. Maybe we, we, we go for the higher, like, score bracket, but we don't change the time available. Because you can do that in the solo challenge as well. You can mix and match your things. We can put fewer dice out. We can say that the score threshold is higher now to consider it a win, but we'll keep the time limit at 45 because otherwise I'm never going to get anything rolled. So take four dice away. We've got all of this here still. I don't have these abilities. Who should we play with? I'll let you pick a character. No, your bosses, your bosses. So we can be Kaja, Little Goodrun, or Johnny Silverhand. And they've got their own like items and all of that good stuff. I'm going to rub all of the things out. And again, I've used my daft pen. Like, the, the proper pen wouldn't leave these marks, probably. Or, maybe the eraser on it's better. I'm just saying. Don't blame the game. It's my own daft pen. Uh, I will get a random boss. Oh, you played it wrong. 
Yeah, it's harder if you can only if you can only assign the double hits to the same person. It's way harder. Right, we have got Limp Oscar is our baddie, who has got six health. Limp Oscar deals wounds equal to the number of tough guys still alive. Ouch. So yeah, we don't want to be in the room with him. Uh, where are my markers for the other characters? Oh, you're here. Hi, Nick. I am, man. You've come at just the right time. We've just had a moderate success, an easy success. I've stepped the difficulty up a bit, and we are playing some new people. It's a very fast game. I know that, like, I might not have made it seem that way. Although, like, like David said earlier, like, it's it's that um, it's that tension, that trade-off between panic in the dice rolling, and then oh, we can we can think a bit now. We can calm down and plan out. Now we know what we've got. Where have I put the item tiles? So you have got two, four. Six, eight. That's all your ability tiles. Where have you put? Oh, it'd be it'd be a great idea. Just change just change the character that you're playing. You won't have put the tiles in a daft place. Ah, oh, they're under here. They're under a bag. Right. Speaking as I was about forty minutes ago of uh, things coming up next week. Eleven arrived earlier today. It has many, many boxes. There are many expansions to it. I think like next week we'll, we'll, there will be some kind of uh, solo playthrough, but I think it'll just be, I'll keep those expansion boxes sealed and we can just see the game, which in the, the demo couple of rounds we had at the UK Games Expo, I loved it. And I say that as someone who, I was going to say dislikes football, yeah, st strongly dislikes. I did used to like managing, though. Not that I really know who any of the people are or what it means. So Johnny Silverhand, if you kill two or more enemies in the same room without moving, before or after, suffer a wound. See, so your your trait is always a bad thing. So yeah, um, Shadow Man could never shoot, but he did get to evade the people he tried to shoot. So he suffers wounds if he kills multiple people in the same room without moving in between. So he's going to want a lot of movements. Let's let's see what we get from stuff there. Okay, so we've got a new lair. Limp Oscar is here, and we are starting here. So a bit more windy. Although yeah, there's there's a pretty direct path. Like you can run through this room. There's no blocker in it. The blocker is just before the boss. But yeah, do you want to just go in, all guns blazing? Or do you want to have a think about the objectives for a second? So if you've killed three, that's all of the blockers that are on the map, then you could do that objective. Kill all the grunts in adjacent rooms. That includes all these three grunts in this room. Kill all the adjacent green is just the two in here and this one here. So that's the most doable. They're all doable though, aren't they? All right, let's... Uh, get planning so we've got symbols that we can spend hi monica how's it going so we're in the flashback phase so loot we could just gain as loot hope to get some points from looting all over the place or use it as a different symbol i think so what are my items i've got a med pack where i could heal twice that's pretty nice stims let me move an action uh plated jacket let me evade a gunman that's pretty nice. Pocket mirror, after you score an objective, hit or shoot. I don't know how many objectives I'm going to be doing. Shoot for every die assigned to your health track at the start of fighting. That's cool. I think... When you would hit hit with a punch, you could shoot instead. You can move before or after you charge. I didn't charge in that first game at all, did I? When you kill the third enemy in a room you haven't visited, gain an XP or an item. Roll and shoot. Move once or twice and shoot. We maybe want barrage. 
shoot and shoot and shoot. If we were standing in like a room like this, where you've because you can shoot in different rooms, because we we just don't want to shoot in the same room. I'm gonna get XP from these two dice. One, two, three, four. Barrage. Shoot and shoot and shoot. And I can assign I can assign blood dice to that. And then the loot can be anything. Do I want more health and build up to Shoot for each die assigned to your health track. We can assign, we can assign blood dice to that instead of having to put them on the health track. That's pretty nice. But it's it's like it's all four of your dice have got to be that configuration. Yeah, let's let's go for it. I'm going to go for four more XP, all used, because loot can be anything, and you've got a wild card pick at the bottom of the tile that I've kind of covered up with the dice. You get these three dice as things. I haven't got much health though, so I don't want to assign too many dice to this. So I've taken some dice away. I haven't changed the time limit though. We're still on the easy time limit, which is 45 seconds. We've got to roll these results and try and get Johnny Silverhand moving about. And I will try and do better this time and not blabber as much while I am rolling. Let's go. Okay, gun gun, knife. No, it's got to be a single knife. Oh no, I've got two blood now. So, no, two isn't any good. I'm not doing any better. Gun, run. Yeah, you're all for different things. Boom. I need to move. If I'm going to make that work, I've got two knives. Let's just get another knife. Double knife will do for me. Although, yeah, that's only going to be good against a, a big enemy, isn't it? Probably going to want to move again. Probably going to want to move again. <sighs> I've got that ability, though, haven't I? That's pretty nice. Oh, but that's straight away. I, w I won't have moved yet. Uh, that's perfect. That's that again. Okay. Hmm. I'm not moving enough, am I? So I've taken... I can shoot for each die assigned to your health track. But if you kill all... If you... Ah, oh, I've done this wrong. If you kill two or more enemies in the same room without moving before or after... Before or after! I can do it after! I can move after, then it's fine. So, shoot for each die assigned to your health track. I've got two dice on my health track, so that's two damage. But I can shoot both of these. I can then move after, so it's okay. But what I can't do now, I've spent my move, I've got these beautiful shoot, shoot, shoot. But I don't. I can only use one anyway. I needed to move, didn't I? I just panicked. So I want to shoot you and you, and just not use a shoot. Can I not use? Can I just not use a shoot? I really, generally, I I wouldn't not want to use one. But I think it would hurt me. Like, I assume if you activate an ability... Yeah, you've got to entirely do it. So I could not shoot at all. And then these guys are all alive. Because a tough if a tough guy was there, that would have been great. Is it... A clarification, is it? It's not in the same room as Johnny, is it? I don't think I've been Johnny. It's just in the same room as each other. Has anyone asked about Johnny's ability? Johnny Silverhand, I don't get his ability.
The limits are on killing two or more enemies in the same room without performing a move action that turn. The enemies have to be in your current room. I think I'm okay then because I moved. It's just, it's, it's, you just have to move in the turn, right? The example, you start your turn on a room with three enemies, use three hit actions to kill the three grunts, you would suffer a wound, you didn't move. An example where you don't, don't get a wound, you start your turn on a room with three enemies, you use three hit actions to kill three grunts, and then you use a move action to leave the room, you don't suffer any wounds. So I have done a move action this turn, so it's okay. So I can do shoot, 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 and not take the last damage that would kill me, but I have this barrage wasted because there are no enemies to shoot. I've also visited this room, I need to mark that off. Okay. So, I like that ability. I could just have leveraged it better. Haven't got much loot, haven't made much progress. Probably want to try and do some more moving next time. Like, roll and shoot. Move once or twice and shoot. Oh, look, you sold. You sold your bed. Are you moving to? Moving in two months. Getting close. Okay, healing is probably something I want to do anyway. I haven't got much choice. Heal, heal. I didn't dodge anyone, so I haven't got to... So healing one, I can wipe two crosses off. And then the second healing, I can gain a health. I can get two XP or an item. I could get XP as well to do something else. You can be move before or after charge. I don't really charge. When you would hit it with a punch, you could shoot instead. Shoot in three different rooms just for two guns. That's only a one per round ability. I think I'm going to get an item that lets me move and then I'm going to take, as the wild card, health. Let's really, really try and leverage putting dice on that track. Not that there's too many dice available. Okay, round two. The plan. I want to get into this room. Shoot loads of people and get out. There's no blocker in here keeping me in. And from this room, you can you can shoot everybody. Like, not, not this one, though. You can't shoot the people in the room that you're in. But if I could get in here, even if I could move in here, shoot, 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 and then again, maybe, that's the objective fulfilled and I'm in there. That's all the adjacent grunts done. That's the most important thing right now, I think. Bare minimum, I want to be in here and do my barrage and maybe a shoot. That's the minimum I'm going for. And then we could maybe move somewhere else after. Okay, 45 seconds. Get four dice in your bin. Let's go. Right, so that's okay, that's okay. I need to move. Perfect. That's me shooting. And then four more dice. Move. That's not good. I want to move. I want to move. <laughs> not knife. I want to move. Oh, come on. Okay, put that on there so I can reroll these. I want to move there. Uh, I'll take the hit. One more knife, please. Another knife, please. Okay, yeah, now I do want a knife. Knife, knife, knife. That's okay. Uh, then we can get three more dice. We can do... Um, oh, that's that's that. I want to move again. 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 Okay. The time has run out. I can keep rolling, but... 
yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to do anything else. So that's two on there as hits. Oh, well, that's a waste, though, because it's not a waste. I had to assign them here anyway, but my ability shoot for every die assigned to your health track at the start of fighting. We established last time I'm in a place where I can't really shoot. So I can move. Now I can shoot. I can do my barrage, which is shoot, shoot, shoot. So I can shoot. They can be in different rooms or they can be in the same room. One, two, three. And then... Yeah, I don't need to have visited a load of places. I can shoot, shoot, shoot again because I... I moved before the action. I'll probably have to move afterwards for this action. I could do one, two, three. So I've visited. Oh, I don't want to move out though. And I've got a punch that's getting wasted. I want to stay in so I can score the objective. Yeah, I'm a bit unclear on his ability now, because I did... I have moved this... turn, like his example was saying. The enemies would have to be in your current room. So the enemies aren't in my current room, so I think I'm okay. I think. If I come in here, I'm going to get shot to bits, so I don't want to go out there. I'm not going to use my move item. I can't use the hit of the room that I'm in, unfortunately. I will get to shoot next time, though, if I've got people in here. So maybe I should take a damage. I'm not really sure. But what I do know is I can score this objective. I've killed all the grunts in adjacent rooms. That's going to be worth five points. I didn't evade anyone. There's nothing to reset there. Nowhere near the boss or doing anything to the boss. But we can uh, we can sort that, maybe. And I think that's it. Yeah, I've not gained any loot. The loot rooms are down here, and I have only moved about two rooms from the start. So round three. We've got some XP, some recon, a loot. So XP is going to be two. The loot could be anything, or it could be loot. I'd quite like roll and shoot. Just they need two recon actions to activate. I want to health with the loot die, because that can be wild. I've had me two XP. My recon can be shooting. So I've got to move there as well. And my free thing What do I want? I could get XP and then... I could do my roll and shoot. Yeah. Let's get XP and do the roll and shoot. One, two, and that costs another load of XP. Ouch. Right. Is this even going to be possible? Round three, 45 more seconds on the clock. I need to 
We could just rush the boss. Because shoot, shoot, shoot. Makes that a lot more possible. But coming into this room again, doing a load of shooting. We could, from this room, take out the greens here and here. And then come into this room. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Come into this room, score the objective. And then next time, though, we've got some moving to do to get to that boss. I think that's doable. Try and move. Try and do the barrage. Okay, go. I, I did start the thing too soon. I need a single knife, but now that's too much blood. Uh, we are going to have to try and get some movement. It's not going to work, is it? Nope. Put that on the thing. 15 seconds gone. Movement. Okay, I want moving a blood done. One, two, three, four. Then you're not what I need. You're not what I need. I should have taken a move, maybe. Oh, you're almost what I need. There, perfect. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That was right, I promise. Uh, then we've got two knives and a move and a gun. We've got two moves. I can. Okay. So we can still re-roll. But I can't get more dice, which is good because I've got them all. Okay then, so I've got... The only thing I can do with two dice is move. So I want to re-roll this to try and get a move. There we go. Might have too much move now. And we've got another thing there. So, at the shoot for each die assigned to your health track. I've got two. The only thing I can shoot is really here. So let's do both shots on the tough guy because he's got two health. Back up to taking damage again. Then... We move, we can do barrage. I haven't taken a move off, have I? We move, we do barrage, which is... I've got no other shooting, have I? I didn't think about my, my roll and shoot that I bought. Because I can spend, this is six health that they've got. I can spend all of that, but then I'm going to get hit by a henchman or something like that. Whereas what I could do instead is move in here, kill the boss with six shots. But I would be stuck in here with the blocker. That seems better. Because I'll be stuck in here with the henchman. I can still move, can't I? I can, I can move about. Or we just do one, two, three shots with a barrage. Move again. One, two, three shots with a barrage. I visited this room. Oh, I visited this one as well. And this one. Just not crossing them off. And then I don't really want to move in there because... Oh, but then I can't do the objective. So there's, there's no point doing this. No, take that back. Get back in here with your six shots left. Go stand here and use the six shots on the boss. I'm going to take a damage from this blocker and I can't leave the room until he's dead. So I'm going to need a hit next time. I'm going to need a punch. And there's a gunman next door. And there's people in my way from getting to the exit. So there's a lot to do still in the last round. So I'm taking two more damage. Still okay, because I've got the health. I haven't gained any loot. I should have killed him. There's two loot hanging about in this room. I need to kill him and everyone in here next time. That could be four loot. And then race in here. And No, there's not going to be that many dice, is there? Okay, so I'm stuck there. I've taken my extra damage. Round four. What have we got? Some healing, I hope. 
yes, we've got two healing and a recon and anything of my choice. So the healing, I will just heal rather than get more max health. The recon, oh, I had another shoot. Would that have made a difference? I don't think so. Yeah, you could have been in this room and shot that gunman. Yeah, I had the recon shoot, didn't I? Okay, then we'll... We'll have shot him. Yeah. While well, we're in here, so then I could have the loot. So the loot could be... Still haven't used this item. I don't know that I want any more. Hit, shoot, shoot would be nice. Maybe I just want the looter's loot for points. Just how much are you going to get? Two more, maybe. Yeah, take the looter's loot. That's two loot. We'll get two more next time. I'll recon a hit, just so I don't have to think about that. So I can just kill him from in here. And then the anything will be another loot. I can get two loot here. I don't think I'm going to get that loot there, but maybe... Who knows? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Say happy. I think it's alright. Is that okay? Right. 45 seconds... Get these four dice back. No, they're not blood yet. And yeah, this is round four, isn't it? This is the last roll. So we've got to... We've got to root out. That's okay. It would be nice to... We've got that punch locked in. It would be nice to get at least a couple of barrages. Because there's five damage there. Some moves in here and shoots again i don't really know let's just try we need some movement but we have got one locked in i'd like a lot of shooting go okay we've got two blood is not a great start uh but oh you should have left that as movement why didn't you leave that as movement okay it's a knife it's always going to be a knife now it's always going to be a knife movement okay we've got two more dice Put you there so we can re-roll. That's a hit, but I don't really need a hit. I don't need two blood, but that'll be okay. On the different things, I want all of the shots. Okay, you need to be blood. That's okay. And then four more dice. That's not four. That's movement again, so we can get you. We've got all the dice now. It's just they're going to turn into blood, aren't they? I want shots. Okay, thank you. Oh, one's blood, so we're stuck. This does give us shots, though, doesn't it? Having the blood on there. What if I just get more blood? I don't want all three to be blood, because I would die. One more could be blood, though. Because you can keep rolling them. You just can't take more dice after the time limit's run. So there we go. I've got four damage on me. That's four shots. One, two, three, four on those tough guys with two health. We've got a punch. Yeah, do... Yeah. We've got a punch on him. So now we can move because he's a blocker. We can do the built-in punch, the reconned punch, on him. That's going to be some loot now. We visited here, we visited here, we didn't go in the boss's room. And then we can do our barrage. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, it's not going to be good enough though, is it? It'll still be okay. Yeah, we can go in here. We've visited. Not going to get the objective because... He lives yet. It 
didn't do the roll and shoot again. Yeah, could have moved, moved, but we wouldn't have made it back to here because I've done this objective now, but you've got to be in there. We'll get shot and die, but it's okay because you don't lose any points. You would just only be rolling three dice at a time and it would be rubbish, especially for me lovely barrage. So I've died, but we get a loot here. So we get one, two, three loot. I'll just take it as loot because that's the max points for it. Didn't get the objective, sadly. But now... Let's see, training, didn't get any points this time. Loot, we got 11. The boss is 11 points again. Six points for the health it had, and five points now is dead. The den objectives, we did this one for five points. And can you trace a way back to the exit without any enemies in the way? It's fine, because we don't have to go this way. There's only a couple of enemies still standing. So yeah, we'll just go this way around. And so we don't lose any points on the escape. And so I've got 11, 22, 27, which I think, where's my rulebook? It's surprisingly okay, because the goal was to have 23. Hard is 28. And, you know, with the asterisk, I wasn't playing complete medium difficulty. I was doing the mix and match it describes here. Uh, I had hard, uh, medium amount of dice, 16, medium score target, but I was doing the easy time limit of 45 seconds rather than 30 seconds. But to balance that out, I'm yapping the whole way through the rolling phase, uh, making it take longer. So there we go. That is a couple of games of Vengeance Roll and Fight. You've seen two of the four bosses, two of the four characters that are in episode one. There's tons of... Um, dens as well that have all got you know slightly different layouts different objectives that kind of stuff they're all double-sided as well i think there's how, how many is in a box whoops uh you've got da -da -da, the big dens 10 10 so 20 essentially is there no there's five boards isn't there so 10 dens yeah 10 dens in each of the boxes uh, and yeah there's what i've been playing is from episode one Episode 2 is another separate box that you can get. You can just get one or the other based on what you would prefer to play as. It's got the whole thing again, basically. All the all the dice, four more bosses, four more characters. All the characters have their own special abilities uh, assigned to them. Load of new dens. And if you want to, you can mix and match throughout. Playing your solo or one to four players. But if you've got both boxes, you can play up to eight players at once because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't imagine the, the chaos of that stuff because, uh, yeah, it is just, um, you would just have an enormous dice pool, right? Nine, oh, nine bosses in each box. What did I say? Yeah, there's, there's loads. Did I say four? There's loads of cards for the different bosses. Four heroes, because they need all the tiles and stuff. But the bosses, they've got the different health values and the different uh, abilities. Uh, yeah, so so loads and loads, plenty to play if you just get the one box. As I said, for the, the original playthrough back when it was on Kickstarter. I love it. I, I love the... So, so Vengeance, if you haven't seen that, it's a fantastic game where, like, it's it's just got the puzzly element of it. You're, you're still kind of rolling dice you're rolling a much more limited pool of dice and not in real time and chucking them loads you roll your dice and that's what you've got and you've got to use all of these abilities to manipulate your dice and try and use them the best while infiltrating uh a den it's uh, it's fantastic it's maybe when, when we played it four players it was definitely like it was a lot slower and too slow for uh, at least a couple of the people that we played with but uh, especially as a solo puzzle it's such a fantastic game fate forge by the way which is I think it's still on Kickstarter right now. There's, that's Mighty Ward's latest thing. That is the Vengeance combat system, but you know the 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 sessions, the fights are shrunk down to like under an hour, and it's got a whole fantasy world and you know, story and choices and all that wrapped around it. I did a video on that though, if you're interested in that. Uh, but yeah, love roll and fight. Hopefully, amongst these uh, the original overview video and these couple of uh, quick panicked playthroughs here uh, it will give you an idea as to whether you'd be interested in it or not okay so that is it for the streams this week next week there's going to be loads i don't know how it's all going to fit in but somehow 
yeah, somehow it'll work, won't it? Uh, in some way. There's there's loads to come. There's Terracotta Army. There's Eleven. There's Oak. There's more. There's a Top Ten. And there's another game as well that is potentially on the way. Yeah, it's it's just going to be packed again. And uh, yeah, so the... All, all of this is made possible, by the way, thanks to Patreon and Kofi. Thanks so much uh, if you support the channel in that way. And if you'd like to, hey, it's linked in the description and uh, it will be massively appreciated. Uh, tom tomorrow is probably the best for Patreon because, uh, yeah, they, they charge on the first of the month. Not that I want to put you off or anything. But, uh, yeah, the, the only reason I'm able to do this crazy amount of stuff <laughs> is thanks to the support of all of the things. And, uh, yeah, so we would normally have a vote on Patreon. Yeah, well, whether you're on Patreon or not, I normally do that recap video, recap the videos from last month, say what the games are coming up this month, and we have a, a playthrough vote every month on Patreon. That's going to be a week later for October, just because next week there's there's no time for that stream, and there's no point thinking about any other games because I'm basically like learning a game a day or multiple games a day as it is. So nothing's going to go in. So yeah, there's, there's going to be Essen Madness next week. Week after, there's definitely going to be a recap stream. I think also there should be Hadrian's Wall and Carnegie that's been waiting a while, and that one a vote. And uh, yeah, whatever else we can fit in after that. I would like, like I haven't decided kind of, because... I'm burning through all the new arrivals because I'm doing playthroughs before Essen. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know how many other arrivals will be on there for the vote. But I would like to do some kind of, like... I know August was unintentionally a kind of horror theme game month because there was all um, Eldritch Horror and My Father's Work and Horrified and all of that stuff happened. Yeah, I would like to do some kind of spooky game. But I don't really have many. I've got, I've got that. I've got... Um, there is another Eldritch in the works that's been filmed and waiting for ages. And I do have Horrified. I have the American Monsters Horrified that we picked up in the US of States. Uh, so maybe we could do that. But if you've got a, a nice horror game you like, I've, I've been looking at, I've been tempted by uh, Darkest Night, which looks, it, it's excited me. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if there's uh, demand. So l let me know what kind of horror games you'd like to see. What would make good streams as well? Like, saying like, Betrayal at House on the Hill, probably not a very good, uh, it, pr maybe a great Halloween game. Probably not great me playing it on my own, is it? Although uh, Logos Marty would be a great traitor. But, uh, oh, Lucidity, Fighting Nightmares, uh, I've, I've not, I don't think. The name rings a bell. I haven't, I definitely not played it. But yeah, I was looking, I was tempted by like Darkest Night, Touch of Evil. There's a few things that we've never played. We used to have Last Night on Earth when we were quite new to gaming. But that's like team versus team. We, we didn't enjoy it because of that. But yeah, there's a, there's a few things. There's of course more in the Arkhamverse that I'd, I'd really like to do some of. Because I've got like second edition and stuff I'd like to. I don't know how much demand there is for us. From me, there's loads of demand. But uh, we'll see what there's time for and... Uh, What's in there? Night Cage. I've seen Night Cage. Yeah, maybe we should get hold of that. Maybe, maybe we should just put up, like, horror is a category on Board Game Geek, isn't it? Maybe I should just do a vote where it's like, we have, um, I, I just pull out, like, the, the highest rated however many horror games that seem like they would be compatible and um, put those as a vote and I just get the, I get the one that wins. Final Girls, well, yeah, I'd, I'd love to get... Has, has Final Girl become available here yet? I know, like, if you, if you back the Kickstarter and stuff, there was, like, there was so few copies at the UK Games Expo, it sold out instantly. You, you could get the packs, like, the, the episode packs, but they didn't have any of the base game. Uh, so, yeah, I'd love to play Final Girl, because, uh, like, uh, Hostage Negotiator is fantastic. I've got the whole... the whole thing. I've got the career and what... I've got everything for Hostage Negotiator, I think. Not that I've played that much of it, because, like, that also... I don't know, it, it being like a kind of horror movie and stuff adds that kind of, I don't know, that kind of unrealness and maybe campiness, depending on which kind of um, horror film it's uh, it's taken off. That Hostage Negotiator, I've, I've, one of the reasons, it's, I think it's been in votes before and not done that well, but also I kind of feel like, 
yeah, it's, uh, it's some of the people's stories as well. They're so serious that I don't know if it would uh, make that great a stream. And you'd love uh, Arkham Horror LCG, would you? I wonder if that would do, like, I'm kind of reticent to put some things in votes uh, because <laughs> I really wanted to do Marvel Champions, the Spider-Verse one. I know I'm late on it and no one cares anymore, but I've only just started playing it again since I played it when it first came out. I thought, oh, this is okay. I've been playing it in the last couple of months. I'm really loving it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm late to it, but hey, look what came today. It's not new story, but it's uh, it's Investigators. I've been playing Arkham LCG. Another one that, yeah, didn't, didn't play much after the start, at least by choice. Uh, but Solar, and Rachel played a couple of games with me, and there's... Um, the other, it's, uh, it's, it's very LCG-ing today. The X-Men come to Marvel Champions, which Rach especially is really excited about. Rach loves Phoenix. Would be one of her top Marvel choices. And uh, she's in the game now. But yeah, may maybe all of that will be coming up. But yeah, at some point, there's going to be loads of games and stuff. But let, let me know which kind of horror, Halloween-y kind of games would be good. But may maybe I should do that as a vote. U usually the vote is like, oh, are these games, which ones... Um, which one should I play out of ones that I have? But it, I did do one after the expo, didn't I? Of like, should I buy these things? It's ba basically asking you to justify my purchases. Darkest Nights is uh, looks quite exciting, but it's expensive. It's like, oh, justify me buying a, a great big expensive game. Anyway, we'll we'll do stuff. There'll be a vote. Uh, there'll be some spooky games coming up. And don't worry, there's still loads of Euro. Oh, look at this week and next week. There's plenty of uh, there's plenty of Euro games coming up in in amongst all of this uh, eldritch nonsense. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for all of your support and for being here for the stream, giving you advice and uh, all your suggestions. I will have a look at uh, Lucidity and Night Cage and stuff. But maybe we'll do that. I'll buy the thing. Quicken the Undead. Spaghetti Western meets Walking Dead. I don't think I've seen Quicken the Undead either. Although some, sometimes I end up looking on Board Game Geek and I'm like, oh yeah, that game. Uh, yes, thank you so much everyone for being here. Monday I'll post the schedule of what the streams will be next week. There's probably going to be one every day, Tuesday to Friday. I, I can't see a situation where that won't be the case. Uh, but yes, thanks everyone. Have a great weekend. It's been a great week. And we'll have another one. And uh, yeah, you can all get pumped for us. And if you go in there, or I'm sure there'll be streams and stuff. Anyway, thanks everyone. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 <laughs>